Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 25 online game. Today we got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Indianapolis Colts and this is a big matchup for week 16 because it could determine seeding, it could determine a lot of stuff. The Chiefs could end up as the number one seed, the Colts could somehow get a first round bye and this game could be a big determining factor. Now, of course, a, a bunch of our things have to fall into fat, like things like the Bengals and Broncos and Patriots. Those games also determine um, what happens to these two teams in seeding. But um, it's a really big game. It's a big showdown. This could be a potential um, wild card round matchup for all we know. So we might be seeing this same matchup, except it would be in Indianapolis if Kansas City doesn't win the division. So, you know, it should be a good game. And even though the Colts have been pretty shaky lately, I think it's going to be a close game. I would pick Kansas City to pick to win this game with their home field advantage in the Arrowhead. But um, Andrew Luck, you know, he makes miracle at, miracles happen. There's two quarterbacks, two young quarterbacks you cannot, you know, count against. It's Andrew Luck and it's Russell Wilson. Those two, they make they just make comebacks happen. They learn from the school of Tom Brady, I guess, because Tom Brady is like the comeback king, you know? The golden boy, he's always making comebacks, and Luck and um, Wilson, they're doing the same. Right now, we're looking good. We got the Chiefs, and obviously, the game plan is to run with Jamal Charles. Early on, I ran with Jamal Charles, and you saw the deep pass was wide open there for Avery since Jamal Charles was running the ball effectively. And, of course, that's one thing that always ha will happen. If you run the ball good, opens up deep passing. So, you know, it all starts with the run. And that's something I've been doing a lot this year. I've been running the ball more than I ever have. And it's running with success. Not just running the ball. Not just pounding it for three yards. It's getting four rushes for 62 yards. And then getting this run here for... I mean, that's three yards, but we're having an effective running game. When you bring in Niles Davis, there's no drop-off because the middle is wide open there. And we get the touchdown, and this is a subscriber game. And I'm playing against the same guy that, if you guys remember that Eagles and Lions game from, like, two weeks ago that I put up, the one that went to overtime, that crazy finish. Um, this is the same guy, and the same guy that um, I, I said he was using the princess strategy, if you guys remember. Now, after looking back on it, you know... I, I wouldn't be so, you know, against it because, I mean, it's not a bad strategy, all right? It's not a bad strategy. It's not as bad as I made it seem. It's a good strategy. People were in the comment section, you know, saying, you know, it's just strategy and stuff like that. And that's what it is. It's just strategy. You know, I kind of overreacted by it. It's just, you know, me being the competitor and, whoa, look at this play. Fasano going for a touchdown. But, yeah, me being the competitor I am, I won the ball back and I won to win. So, I was pretty mad about that. I just won the ball. So, I kind of overreact in the video, so I gotta apologize for that, because, um, the princess strategy isn't really a bad strategy, <laughs> to be honest, you know? It, it works. If someone has a good offense, you keep them off the field, and especially in his situation where he was getting the ball into overtime, you know, it's best that you don't give me a chance to score when I was scoring pretty much at will in that game, so... You know, this guy This guy is cool, by the way. We've played like five games so far this year. And most of them have been close. But so far, this one is getting a little bit shaky right now. He has to make sure this one doesn't get out of hand. And on second down, he tries to throw a screen pass. But we bottle it up there. Make him lose seven yards after T.Y. Hill and at the comeback. Third down, swat ball. And now fourth down with the game on the line, potentially. I know it's the second quarter. But if he can't get his... Get, oh, and he cannot get that first down. You know, he hasn't shown the ability to stop me. So... I'm feeling pretty good right now. I already got the ball and field goal range here to make it a 724 game. Try to run the screen pass here, but we take a deep shot from a cluster, which doesn't really work out. Bringing up third down and very long. Just going to throw something up here, and it's almost intercepted. He was so close to getting it. I'm not sure how he didn't get it, to be honest. Instead, we throw it to Dwayne Bow, who one hand. Look at that. skying catch, but it's not a touchdown. You know, if Dwayne would have made that catch for a touchdown, we would have been, you know, talking about top 10 places of the week. I'll be trying to figure out what slot to put him in because that one-handed catch, though. But he ended up going out the one, so it's not that cool because he cost me a touchdown by doing that. If he just normally caught it, we would have been all good. But um, we got a touchdown anyway, so not too much to complain about. Just, you know, the wow factor to play more than anything else. And the wow factor right now is about... Um, how big this ball out can get? 7 to 28, and then we make this great interception here. And that is just the power of Eric Berry, man. We dropped one earlier, and this time we caught it, and that would, you know, the way I was up there and I closed on the receiver, that's something you can only do with a few players. And Eric Berry, he's just a freaking monster to user. He's one of my favorite players to user. I haven't played with these Chiefs in a while, and I was playing with Berry, and I was like, oh my god, yo. 
This is like usering heaven right now playing with Eric Berry as Alex Smith takes it all the way for the touchdown there. I just had to improvise real quick there. Nothing got open and we end up getting the touchdown there with our quarterback. So that's good. 735 game. Feeling really good about this game and... Like I said, this is a guy I played a few close games with. A guy who has come very close to beating me. He was a player two away from beating me. Last game we played, he dropped a pass that ended up in my hands. You know, that could have been somehow his touchdown. And now, you know, this is just, man, I, I don't know. It's just me adjusting to him. It can't really be because um, it's I'm, I'm still scoring on him. I'm like in both the games we or most of the games we play, I score in him pretty much at will. The thing is, his offense is the thing that usually bottles me up as we take a deep shot for Dwayne Bow on fourth and four and get it for a touchdown. The thing is his offense, I can't really seem to stop his offense. But this game, um, you know, he always changes up his offensive scheme. That's the thing. I can never say, okay, this is what he does. He always changes it up. But this game, I just had him locked up here for the most part. And that fourth and four, I could have taken a field goal there, but in a 35 to 7 game. And it was only 4th and 4. I was like, you know what? It doesn't really make sense to go for the points there. Let me just try to get this here. And plus, it's a friendly game. If And I was talking on the mic to him. If I wasn't talking on the mic to him, I probably would have kicked the field goal just to be courteous, you know? I don't want to, like, seem like I'm trying to run up the score or anything. But, you know, we were talking, so it's like, it's all right. It's all cool. And here, 4 seconds left. Just going to try to get in the closer field goal range here. But it doesn't really matter. Um, We got an easy field goal here. I was like, at this time, I'm going to go for the field goal because... You know, in the half, I'm not, I don't really care. Just take a deep shot. I'm going to take my field goal here, but I miss it. Anyways, so we missed the field goal there. I kind of, from the 31, how the hell did I miss that? What suck of was it going to like? Anyways, this halftime show, um, this is very important to me right now. Um, I need these two cards from Mutt. On the Xbox One, by the way, an 84 Gold Holly and an 89 um, um, Brandon Flowers. The, the 84 Holly is the one I really want more. Well, I don't want to say want like that, like I'm greedy or something, but... That's the one I really need because I'm doing the Kansas City Chiefs captain collection, the elite collection, where um, you collect players, you get 50,000 coins, and the captain, Dwayne Bow, if you co complete the collection as we get another pick there, Eric Berry. And those are the only two cards I have left. And um, the Eric, uh, Samba Hali, I can't seem to find that thing for a decent price. That's not like overinflated by a million coins as we throw the deep ball here. And Dwayne Bow's having a big game. Another touchdown for him. Chalk it up there. And, um,. Yeah, the Brandon Flowers, I mean, I could probably find that for cheap, but um, just in case anybody has one, let me know. And especially the Tom Bahali, if anybody has that in the Xbox One, let me know. And, you know, if you want to give it to me, I'll definitely see if I can give you something back in return. Because um, I don't, I don't want to just take it, unless you're willing to do that. I'm not going to stop you if you're willing to do that. I really want this damn Tom Bahali. But, um, yeah, you want, you want to work something out, I would love to do that because I only need those two cards to complete the collection and... I, I really want to be, complete this collection really bad, so, you know, you want to help me out, that's it, I have all of the other cards right now, all the other Chiefs cards, and if I can have that Dwayne Bow in the back of the end zone catching passes like that, you know, my mod team would be pretty better, you know, and if anything, I could sell that thing, get a lot of coins, you know, sell it for a lot, yeah, <laughs> I think, I don't know, I, I just, and it's fitting now I'm playing with the Chiefs and I'm talking about needing the Chiefs collection, so, you know, I had a few of those Chiefs cards, a few of those rare Chief cards, like an 89 Jamal Charles. I was like, all right, why not try to get this collection as Andrew Luck fumbles the ball there. He gets the first down the option, but um, fumbles the ball there. Unfortunate for him. We recover it. Once again, Eric Berry all over the field there. And I was like, why not? And then eventually I started finding some of these cards for cheap. And <laughs> next thing you know, I'm almost done with the collection. And I haven't spent 50,000 coins on the collection yet, so that's the good thing. I haven't exactly spent a ton of coins on the collection as we make a nice move here with Jamal Charles. And that's just the power of Jamal Charles in the screen game. We all saw that Oakland game and what Jamal Charles can do once you throw a screen past him. And that's what he can do. Fastest guy on the field. Get, and one of the most athletic, you know, he has like track speed. Yeah, Jamal Charles. I'm, I've, I've said it from the start of the season. The dude's an MVP candidate. It's ever since like the beginning, you know, it's him, it's Russell Wilson, it's Peyton Manning. I can't really think of anybody else. Those those will be my top three as far as um, MVPs of the year because they are just playing lights out right now. Yeah, I, I can't really think of anybody else, but those three are playing great. As you see, he's trying to do a little swerve move there with Andrew Luck and actually gets the first down, but eventually fourth down and 20. Oh, but look at this, though. He has all the time in the world with McAfee. That offensive line on the special teams held up, man. Like, that, the Chiefs, you would think they have some decent pass rushers there. You'd think, like, Poe would come through, but 
held up, and McAfee threw a dot there. It was just dropped past by the fullback. McAfee put that one in there. You can't hate a McAfee. And look at this play with Jamal Charles. Go, go, go. Touchdown, Fasano. And I didn't even mean to throw it to Fasano. I threw it to the X receiver, but Jamal Charles is that dude where he'll throw it to Fasano anyways, even though I hit X as we big hit him and get our third fumble recovery in the game. And I hate when stuff like this happens. In a blowout, I don't want good luck. I want all the bad luck I can possibly get when I'm blowing someone out so I can get the bad luck out the way and keep the good luck for a closer game. But... Um, now all of a sudden, I'm getting all these fumble recoveries. Three fumble recoveries in a game as we drop the pick there with Barry. Second drop pick there. Come on, Barry. You're my favorite person to use with. How are you going to drop two picks? I see McAfee. He brought McAfee in for the rest of the game because this game was toast. As this time, Barry, he might not be able to catch, but that's a great tackle behind the line there. Perfect timing there with Barry, and we stop him. But yeah. Um, shit, I forgot what I was saying. Whatever. Um, this game's about to wrap up here. A uh, 70 to 7 shellacking. And this would norm normally be a highlight play thing, but I was like, you know, let me get this Colts and Chiefs up for week 16, because I think it's going to be a close game, like I said. I, I mean, for all we know, the Colts might blow them out, you know? I mean, I don't feel that way because the Chiefs have been really good offensively lately, but, um, the Colts are like a heckling. I think it's Heckle and Jade team. I don't know what the hell that saying goes. But they're just so unpredictable. And now that they beat the Texans, they blew them out. They might have a mojo back, and they might just go on a huge run. I don't know. But um, I do got the Chiefs in this game. And look at that throw there with Avery. Or the running pitch to Avery. I'll explain that soon because that's, that's my new trick play. Well, it's not mine. I can't claim it. It wasn't my idea, but I'll explain that more as I get that down more. But anyways, this video is done. Game is done. Good game to him. Um, hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more games, and I will catch you guys next time.